Our top story this morning, the way you visit Twin Cities restaurants and bars will change today. WCCO's Mariel Moses is live in the newsroom to explain some of the new vaccination changes. Al, we know that not all dining establishments are going to fall under this requirement. That's right, Jason. So both Minneapolis and St. Paul will require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test to enter. But in St. Paul, only about a third of restaurants will fall under this requirement. It really comes down to licensing in St. Paul. They only require this mandate for restaurants licensed with the city, and the city only licensed places that serve alcohol. So several fast food restaurants and coffee shops do not have to enforce this mandate there. Now, this is an effort by both the mayors of Minneapolis and St. Paul to curb the surge of the Omicron variant that has spread rapidly throughout the city and state. But one restaurant owner we spoke to says it puts a lot of pressure on them to be an enforcer of a strict rule on customers. For us, our company, we're going to do our best to make it the, the least invasive experience possible. And we're in the hospitality business. We're here to give an experience. And we just want you to keep coming out and support us because the industry is hurting and it has been hurting. That's just a reminder to remain patient with these restaurants and bars as they enforce this new change starting today. You can show your physical vaccine card or a photo of it on your phone. And as far as the negative test goes, it needs to be from a lab within 72 hours. And entertainment venues like sports stadiums, bowling alleys, movie theaters, and convention centers will all have the same vaccine and testing requirements starting next week. All right, Marielle, we'll see how it shakes out today. Thank you.